Hi there, beautiful beings of light. My name is Amazi, and I'm making this video today because I have been um, going through some life changes um, since the lockdown, since this COVID-19. And I would like to share them with you, with anyone who is struggling at the moment with trying to figure out what is the best thing to do in our lives at the moment, what is the best thing for you to do for you, for your family, for your health, and um, for your future. So um, this whole COVID-19 virus pandemic is a massive change in humanity I believe and it's an experience that we have the choice to live it with love or with fear it's up to us and up to you to decide whether you want to live it with fear or whether you want to live it with love I feel that we are living in two different timelines i mean i get a lot of information from psyches and amazing interesting powerful women that have connections with um, a higher realm with um, a galactic entities if you may it might sound a bit strange it might sound a bit out there but actually i'm a type of person i have always had a belief in i've, I've always had a belief that there is something more around us i'm quite a spiritual being um, it's helped me through my body pain that I suffered for 10 years in my life and um, I know that we're energetic electric beings and that um, you know we're more than just what we see we're more than just the body that is around us this is just our form of transport for us to be able to get from one point to another so it feels like we're living two different timelines so if you're engaged in the mainstream media if you're engaged in wearing your mask and complying and um you know just being very concerned about your children and and, and making them um wear their masks i mean i'm in spain i've just moved to spain i'm here for the summer and um yeah it's it's really really serious here you know they will not let you enter a supermarket unless you're wearing your mask right so, I mean, there is a legislation and in theory, um, you know, only a policeman can enforce you to wear a mask. Uh, but a lot of people are not aware of this, therefore they're just wearing it anyway because they're scared and because they're humble and because we are human beings and we're from the heart. And the first thing that we want to do is protect other people and we want to make sure we're doing the right thing because that's how we are and that's who we're made of we are pure love and that is why we are trying to follow through the regulations and the orders that are given to us so living in that timeline um you know not knowing where you're going not knowing where you're going with your finances not 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 knowing what's going to happen in the future you know that's one way of seeing COVID-19 which is really quite a struggle and quite intense and it kind of keeps you in this low frequency vibration of fear and um, you know anxiety and stress and you know there's the other side of the COVID-19 if you decided to live it with love and to, decided to live it and understand it as the great awakening and understand it as something that is a massive shift in humanity which is what I've done since it's happened I've been following information sources that I've been following for 15 years um, uh, you know predicting that this that was going to happen and it is actually happening and um, however i have also found out through my journey of knowing about this darkness this dark force these deep state or illuminati or whatever you want to call it um you know i've also come to realize and done a lot of research and seen that actually the military and um, different uh, uh, specific people in high positions are actually doing good for us. They're actually making sure that there are massive arrests. And at the moment, during this COVID-19, there are massive arrests happening worldwide. And this is what we need to know. Like, when there's a city that's been locked down, it's not just the lockdown and people staying at home because of the COVID. It's actually a cover-up, but they are actually... Um, arresting a lot of um, people who have been involved in paedophilia, who have been involved in children trafficking. Now this may sound completely 
out of proportion and like what the fuck is she talking about what is this woman saying but actually if you've done enough research and if you understand how the world works you will realize that this can actually be true and for me it's a massive celebration to know that this massive ring and the darkness that has been ruling this planet for so many years it's actually been taken down as we speak so this is not a time for us to be really worrying about what's going to happen the fact is that the system as we know it is no longer going to exist it's going to fall which means that we are going to see a lot of changes we are already seeing these massive arrests in the news you know we're already seeing Epstein's partner Giselle Maxwell who is grooming women for Prince Andrews you know um, there's so many things that are happening but they're dropping them very very slowly because it's too much of a shock for our system so those of you who like to call people like me conspiracy theorists it's like it's you know you're going to have to find another word or you're going to have to basically accept the fact that you know the truth is coming out and even if it is shocking to you um you know it's for you to to you know we're here together we're all one you know i'm not better than you you're not better than me you were just simply perhaps not knowing and you just you know it's it's too hard to even think about that this could be true however i for some reason through my suffering of my body pain that i had for 10 years i had nothing else to do i was sat at home and all i could do was sit down there and i started you know finding out information and investigating and realizing the matrix that we live in and realizing that we have been lied to and realizing that there is so much information that we don't know of but if you've been working all your life and doing the right thing and keeping your your family well or just going out and you know just having your you know the best time of your life and you haven't had time to sit down and do your research then maybe this is a time for you to do that it's not the time for you to attack or to be upset with people like myself who are trying to help all of us together as one humankind it is for you to go you know what i'm going to come down from my ego and i'm going to I'm going to listen and I'm going to try and investigate just for the, for the better of my family and because I feel that I am being, you know, I am, there's something that's not right. Surely, you know, if your gut feeling is telling you that something isn't right, you know, follow your gut feeling. And that's kind of where I want to come to, right? So it's about living COVID-19 with love or living it with fear. So I'm living it with love. So I'm going to tell you um, what's been happening for me. So I've, I've come to realize through my life that when you visualize something so powerfully in your mind like it's happening already it just tends to fall into place and that's why i don't live with fear i know certain i know for certain where i'm going and what i'm going to create although right now i'm in mallorca my hometown in my brother's home it's a beautiful town this is the village i grew up in i don't know if you can see that the village um church but anyway, it's a beautiful village and my parents live here. Anyway, my mum was has suddenly become very ill, so I was planning to move back to the island. I was uh, live in Brighton. And I was planning to move back anyway this year. And it just feels like this COVID-19 has pushed me to go faster with what I was trying to do. Um, so I was going to systemize my business. I run a cleaning business, a holistic eco cleaning business in Brighton. And um, I wanted to systemize that and come back and bring my daughter here and bring her to a school here and, you know, a different type of school because I don't really believe in the system anymore because the system is falling, guys. So, you know, there's so much stuff that you mustn't be worried about right now because everything, the way we are living is going to change. So I'm preparing my life for... Um, this new earth that we are going to be living in and you know the financial system is completely you know it's completely collapsed now so there is going to be a financial reset and that has been proven and it's been spoken about and it's going to happen so this is why I'm so certain that I know that wherever I go I'm going to be okay I just need to find myself a base and this is why I'm trying to say to those of you who are a little bit confused of, of, of like what to do right now in your life what to do 
financially say for example your corporate job has gone down or actually say for example your gut is telling you that you don't really want to do that anymore you spent some time with your children during the lockdown and you've had time with them and you realize that being with your family is so much more important than going back to your day job going back to that job which would make you leave at 6 a.m in the morning and then come home at 8 p.m in the evening and not see your kids not live a life that is decent and that you, a life that you deserve and that we all deserve we have been enslaved for too many years right so it's about creating your own you know start creating the base and just trust that the universe will be with you trust that the universe will provide everything you need to be able to create your new your new way of living okay so if you feel that you don't want to go to that corporate job that you don't want to go back to the job that you didn't like follow your heart because universe will provide you know it will come to you but you have to just really believe it use imagination use your visualization to be able to picture what it is you need to picture what it is you want how you want to achieve it and just you know move forward towards that take a few steps one by one i mean for me it's like okay my mom was sick i was coming out here anyway i had to get a plane now i did that now i'm here i'm sorting out all my legal papers my parents had a, had some friends um, that passed away and their children are in england somewhere and they don't really care about this flat it's a beautiful flat with two bedrooms and they've just said to me i can stay in it you know and i can pay rent and electricity until things change or whatever and that's you know things have just been falling into place now i have a base i've gone to see a really cool school for sophia as my daughter at Steiner school and it's amazing and it's not too expensive and it just feels like everything is falling into place and i i'm just you know trusting that that there's something out there that has me there that is holding and supporting me and i've learned that if i live my life like this with joy and confidence and trust and hope and faith and and you know positivity things just happen because there's nothing interfering it when i start getting fears of doubt and oh my god and i do have them sometimes don't get me wrong but that's when i try and meditate or i just try and come back to the source I come back to to the light to, to feeling that I'm actually supported and connected and everything is going to be okay and it's a constant thing you know like if I don't do my yoga for one week I start getting ag agitated my body's all crackling you know I need to be doing this daily this is it's a it's something that you need to be conscious of it isn't just um you know I'm not just a a fluffy human being that just came like this you know we all have to work hard especially in the system we live in because we've been trapped in it for so many years we've never had time we've never had time to do these nice things for ourselves you know we never have time to to you know to find that space to do that meditation to find that space to do a bit of yoga so anyway for me it's all just fallen into place and 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 i'm going to follow through with it and i am going to be moving out here on this island and i feel that um i'm going to follow my heart because i know that my passions which is what i was going to mention to you as well if you have your if you have a passion or something that you feel um can serve others something that you feel is going to help others maybe you've started helping your community maybe you've started um you know uh, painting uh, which is something that you've always wanted to take on but you never did maybe you're um you know it could be something that you've never had time to do that you feel you're good at and you feel that that's your gift well if that's your gift and you feel you want to follow that i suggest and i advise you to follow that dream but don't follow it half-heartedly really follow it and and give it all you have you know and trust that you will have that support you know the governments are giving support right now there's a lot of financial help due to this covid 19 and you need to jump on that whether you're in spain in spain as well they're giving a lot of help to uh, people who have been affected by the covid 19 and this is part of the new financial system jazara nazara you can look it up jazara nazara it's all about a new governmental system which has been implemented and um, we are going to all be equal. We are all going to get the, the same help. Hopefully we'll be working. Um, we can work, but we won't be working long hours like we have been doing um, all these years. Um, you know, it's absolutely unbelievable what we are living and kind of, um, yeah, hard to actually accept that this is so good. Um, but I do feel that... Um, if you are struggling with what to do in your life, I think the first thing you need to do is start connecting with 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 what's out there, you know, start connecting with 
with you know with um your spiritual side you know start connecting with your inner child as well you know very importantly it's very important to run through our emotions at the moment more than ever uh, it's important for us to be able to connect um you know i'm with my family at the moment and my mum tends to really trigger me um by saying saying to me oh you're just so disorganized and oh you're so this and then i think to myself hang on i'm running a business i'm a single mom i do my creatives i'm writing an album how could i be disorganized if i'm doing all of this stuff so i tend to just think you know what that's the conditioning and the programming that i have had since i was young but i'm gonna step out of that and i'm not going to let that affect me i mean i did get a little bit angry but then i thought okay no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get affected and um it's about not getting triggered and um, we tend to get triggered with this whole COVID as well we're getting triggered um there's a lot of fear and that's affecting our inner child and we're a little bit traumatized so this is a time for us to connect with every single emotion and if you have feeling have been feeling an emotion of fear it's finding out where that comes from like when in your childhood were you with fear and then release it maybe write it on a piece of paper maybe um you want to dance it out because i'm a therapeutic dance teacher so i do a lot of things with dance um or maybe you would like to just kind of vocalize or chant or but it's important for us to work on our um, um, shadows, you know, what it is that is stopping us from being our true self, what it is that is stopping us from being with joy. Because unless you're with joy and positivity, then the frequency will not change within you. And you need to be at a high frequency to be able to move forward during this COVID-19. It's the perfect time. There's less work uh, for those of you who are at home this is a time to make your shift to this new system that we're going to be living in it's it's, it's um absolutely incredible times we're living in and it's exciting so it's not for us to feel um scared and in fear i, I encourage you to really uh start shifting things maybe you want to move maybe you'd like to be close to your family i know i just wanted to be close to my family i wanted to be back with my friends here on the island i wanted to feel the heat on my body i wanted to be able to breathe nature i wanted to be i wanted to be away from um any situation that may be affecting my energy levels um you know and um, because we, whether you like it or not, we are still in this third dimension. We are still in this um, timeline where we, you know, uh, what you touch and what is solid is what we are living today. And there still is 5G masks going up and there's still, you know, people having to wear masks everywhere. And, you know, we're still living this oppression, you know, we're still living this. Um, I think they're just pushing to the point where uh, until so how, how, long, how, how, you know how how far can they go you know covering your mouth like not being not allowing you to breathe not allowing you to talk not allowing you to express and being able to do that and you allowing that is that you have to step back and be with, with your sovereignty sovereignty sorry and that's why i am making sure that i protect my daughter protect my family and i'm making sure that i am here for my parents because this is a very intense time and I feel you need to be with your loved ones, but you also not only need to be with your loved ones, but you need to be nurturing yourself. You need to be nurturing yourself and loving yourself and being with love. And one of my next videos, I'll be talking about the essentials of Tantra and Tantra love and how it is very important to nurture oneself before you can even try and love another person. So um very importantly we need to we need to be with love more than ever and uh, this is going to be uh, the new way of living so whatever it is you are doing if it is service to, uh, to self it is if it is a company you're working for that is service to self that is um uh, working for a company it's all about money uh, that is not going to last for a long time so you're not missing out if you are looking to aspire and you have a passion towards something that will be service to others maybe healing maybe you have some sort of a calling that may be uh, to do some sort of a therapy um you might have a calling to help elder people you might have a calling to help young disabled children 
maybe just inspire people to be more creative, um, then I would suggest this is the time to start pushing towards that. Doesn't mean you have to drop the other job completely, but start sharing out the love, maybe become part time and then find time to do that so that you can swiftly move towards that. Start you know, preparing the ground, you know, start preparing the ground and feel grounded and rooted at the same time. Because unless you're grounded and rooted, you cannot work on your passions. You cannot flow with your creativity unless you're stable and you're rooted and you know where you are and you have a base. Okay, so um, yeah, if you need to come up with ideas of where you want to go, just make sure that wherever you are, you're making yourself feel good at home. You're doing the little things that you have to do every day to feel good with yourself, to feel happy, to be in the right space, whether it's meditation, whether it's just washing up, going for a walk or whatever it is that makes you feel good at that time. That is what you need to be doing. And then after that, perhaps you can start thinking about what are the changes you'd like to make. Because at the end of this year, we're going to be seeing so much, so many uh, shocking uh, things that have been um, hidden away for so many years. Um, you know, including just everything. The system as we know it, you know, is just no longer. The Vatican is has already been taken down. Uh, monarchy, um, just yeah, a corporate corporate uh, companies that have ruled the world. Uh, they are no longer going to be existing therefore we are going to have the power back guys so let's prepare for that when it comes which is going to be very very soon lots of love bye bye